This video is about memory interfacing 8086. So the question is interface 2 ROMs 4K cross 8 and 2 ROMs 4K cross 8 and address of ROM is this much. Both are continuous memory. So it is telling that RAM and ROM are continuous memory. After RAM, ROM comes and the end address of ROM is this much. We have to show the diagram how the RAM and ROM are connected. RAMs and ROMs are connected because we have two and how the addressing is done. So for RAM or ROM, we have total 4K into 2, therefore 8KB each for which 2 to the power 3 cross 2 to the power 10 that is 13 address lines will be used. So for uh, either RAM or ROM, 13 address lines will be used and 8086 uses odd and even memory banks that is um, suppose this is my whole RAM then it is divided into two parts one will act as odd and other will act as even so generally even is the lower and odd is the higher bank because you can assume uh, address suppose 00 and then 01 this is lower this is higher this is even and this is odd so odd is higher and even is lower so odd banks are denoted by bhe bar equals to 0 bhe bar is bus enable so if this is high that is 1 then it denotes even bank and if it is odd then it denotes um, if it is 1 even bank and if 0 odd bank so in the question it is given end address of the rom is this much all left means all are ones all the address lines 20 address lines are ones we know that this is ram and then above it we have rom we we have got the end address of rom so this address is this much and we know that 13 address lines are to be used so we separate the 13 lines initial lines from a0 to a12 they will be for final for final address they will be all ones but for initial address they will be all zeros for example address using two bits will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. for all final it is all ones and for initial it is all zeros similarly for 13 lines 13 address lines this is the condition all ones and all zeros if these are all zeros and this will remain the same it is like this therefore rom ends at this much address then what will be the initial address this is f then this is e 0 and then rest are zeros therefore 0 0 0 h hexadecimal so this is my initial address of rom before rom we have the ram and it is continuous memory there is no gap therefore the address just before this address or this fe00 that is fe00 minus 1 we will have our RAM address ok so it will be F D F F F H this thing minus 1 you can do in calculator or mentally it will come this much so it is F D and then all F's so this is the last address of RAM where all are ones and then I have to convert it to all zero so that I can get the initial address of RAM if I convert it to 0, I get this as F, this is C, then all zeros, 0, 0, 0, H. So, we have got all the addresses. So, we have got all the addresses and next, we will see how the wiring is done. See, here, only A, A 13 address, 13 for ROM. It is 1 1 and for RAM it is 0 0 only this thing can differentiate others are same so for uh, to differentiate RAM and ROM on the basis of address we have to use A13 like this A13 when it is 0 it will denote ROM it will denote ROM when it is 0 it will denote RAM sorry and then here it will denote ROM and when A0 and BHE bar when these both are 00 it denotes a word is being 
uh, used in the buffer that is d15 to d0 all the 16 bits but when this is but when bhg bar is 1 or or when this condition is there a0 equals to 0 bhg bar equals to 1 then only even or lower byte of the data buffer is used and when a0 is 1 bhg bar is 0 or by odd byte or the or higher data buffer is being used lower means d0 to d8 higher means d7 sorry higher means d8 to d15 and we can see the decimal equivalent of this is 0 this is 0 0 1 that is 1 0 1 0 is 2 1 0 0 is 4 this is 5 and this is 6 we need this when we because we will be using a decoder we have three inputs these three inputs when we give in a uh, active load decoder three inputs so we will get here eight outputs which are output 0 to output 8 uh, sorry output 7 and accordingly we will join so here we are giving the three inputs bhg bar a0 and a13 to the 3 is to 8 decoder as the three inputs and here we have the outputs from output 0 to output 7 as discussed before the decimal equivalent 0 will go to the word decimal equivalent 1 will go to the even byte of the ram so we have here the odd rom odd bank of the rom even bank of the rom odd bank of ram and even ram even bank of the ram so the data bits or the data bus buffer bits number 0 to 7 that is the lower or even part is going to the even rom and even ram here then again the odd bits or uh, or the to the odd bank we have the data bits d8 to d15 that is the higher byte going to the odd ram and odd rom even to know that this chip is selected considering odd bank of the rom by seeing the previous table we can say odd bank of the rom is 110 or decimal equivalent 6 so this is connected to 6 the wire from here will be connected to here for even the decimal equivalent is 5 therefore here 5 is given also when the decimal equivalent is 4 we have the word that is the both odd and even bank can be accessed that is from D, uh, D15 to D0 all have to be accessed therefore 4 is there so 4 goes to odd as well as to even here and then similarly for the ram we have for the odd part of the ram we have the decimal equivalent to for even we have 1 so here cs3 this is the odd bank of the ram 2 is going and to the even part of the bank 1 is going here and when it, the decimal equivalent is 0 both the ram or both the banks have to be accessed therefore therefore 0 is there and this is ended because if both are 0 here then only uh, if either of them are 0 then due to the AND gate this CS chip select bar will be cs bar will be zero for which the respective uh, ram or rom or respective chip memory chip will be available or selected here as enables we are given the all the address lines from a19 to a14 because all of them are one therefore they are directly connected to the nand gate and then fed to the enable where it is bar only zero is kept and where there is no bar we have to give 1 output of this is 0 
therefore we have to uh, use it user not get so that we get here one then about the signals and as we know the address lines from here we have used a19 to a14 here 13 and the rest also a0 is used here and the rest a1 to a12 are fed or directly connected to the chips memory bar sorry memory chips that is each chip will have a0 to a12 and a0 to a11 because this is 4k 2 to the power 2 and 2 to the power 10 gives you 2 to the power 12 that is we need 12 address lines from a0 to a11 those are connected to a1 to a12 because a0 is used here similarly the same case is used here and then the signals for signals we have your mrd or memory read bar is connected to oe bar of the rom because we don't have your write bar so here we have both memory read and memory write both are connected to every chip so these are the main signals cs bar read and write oe bar thank you